I'm hoping that uh, Doctor Who number 11, Matt Smith, who is in his TARDIS bus, is travelling from the top of the country to us, is here. Hello, Matt. Yes, hello, sir. Hello, uh, hello. Can you hear me? I, well, right this minute we can. So you've got a thing for, for, for mini eggs. You've got a thing for mini eggs. Yes. And you, had, and you became an actor because you had, a, you had a back injury. How did that happen? Yeah, well, you know, I, I think it was just as a... Uh, oh. Lord above, I've just whacked my head on the TV. <laughs> Sorry, I'm walking around the bus trying to find the signal. I've just, the whole bus is laughing at me. This um, is fated. <laughs> yeah, I know. God dear me. Um, I was just playing too much football, really. I really just get my head on right old whack. Um, and, wow. um, yeah, yeah, and it was just, you know, it was <laughs> one of those things. Yeah, I am the laughing stock of the bus. It's very embarrassing. Um, um, Do you need so to sit we down? Are. Well, no problem. I don't want to lose the signal. I'm standing up. But okay. It's that is the health of the place. So, yeah, but, um, you know, thankfully for me, I, I had a wonderful teacher who sort of encouraged me into acting, and, and here I am, talking oh. to your good self. Thank you. Yeah, I, I hope I don't kill off the 11th Doctor Who while I'm talking <laughs> to you. <laughs> I know, God, yeah, my mum will have your guts for granted if you do. Uh, well, you're, isn't your sister in the, in the North East, by the way? No. On. Sorry? No, she's not, actually. Oh, your no. assistant. Sorry, I knew there was an S in there somewhere. I know your assistant is. Um, your first TV role was, was Ruby, Ruby in the Smoke with Billy Piper. I mean, have, have you not had the standard times of unemployment that actors do? Uh, well, I've been quite fortunate, actually, since, uh, since I started. Um, mm. You know, I've had a couple of months off here and there. So, you know, touch wood, which I'm doing. I'm touching the air with my right hand. Mm. OK. Uh, hey. This is the best interview I've ever done. How did you, how did you get the role, Matt? Well, I uh, I went for audition in the hotel, and, and uh, I got the script the night before. Like any other, you try and learn the line, and you try and do it as creatively as you can. Mm, mm. What did you have to do at the audition? Well, they gave me some scenes from episode one, uh, a scene at the end. Um, I can't reveal, obviously, what no. it is. Uh, more scenes from episode one in the second audition. Right. Um, and and, and, and uh, here we are today on the TARDIS bus. All right. How, through the snow. How do, how do you deal with the die-hard fans who, who might criticise? Well, you know, I think one of the great things of this show is that it does divide opinion, and, and is it everyone is entitled. Um, if they want to criticise it, yeah. then that's up to them. All right. How, I, how, Matt Smith, is your doctor going to be different from others over time? I mean, you're the 11th, you know, Patrick Troughton, etc. How is yours going to be different? Well, I think all of us are different. It's the first kind of starting point. Uh, it turns it into a fairy tale. Mm. That's very interesting. Mm. OK. Matt, we are going to have to leave it there, unfortunately. Bec are you there? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? I can now. You're on your way to Sunderland. Uh, it's the most... Yes, no, it's, it's the most... Down to uh, the university but, down there. No. Uh, yeah, you're on your way to Sunderland and uh, in, in your time machine. And, uh, and I think some lucky people are going to get a preview later on. Absolutely, that's the case. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're showing it at the... Uh... Oh, no, you're not allowed to say that! <laughs> <laughs> OK. I have to say it. No, thank, don't worry. Matt... Oh, OK. <laughs> it was all such a closely guarded secret until Doctor Who let it out the back. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, gosh. Uh, oh, you, you didn't get it all out. We hid, it, we hid some of it. OK, marvellous. It's, it's only because it's, it's, only it's an, inv an invitation only and some people are a bit... <clears throat> we don't like that. But anyway, Matt, I, I hope one day that we'll do a proper interview without it breaking up or up the... I'm sure we will. And uh, um, have a, you know, I hope you guys enjoy the show up there in the northeast. Thank you very much. We'll see you in about seven hours when you flop down. Beautiful. T okay, cheers. All right, Matt Smith, Doctor <laughs> Who. Bye bye. Bye bye bye. -bye. Sometimes cosmic forces collide to create a wormhole which works against the gamma particles. Of course, you could just blame the Hadron Collider or whatever it's called. Matt Smith. <laughs> eh, thank goodness for technology, eh? Where would we be without it? This is BBC Newcastle. <laughs>